Okay, we're going to take a look at VAT. This is value added tax. So VAT is basically added on to goods and services. So if you buy a cup of coffee, it includes a, a VAT charge in uh, Ireland. Okay, there are lots of countries. But anyway, uh, in say if you go to America, you have to calculate on your tax separately. But in Ireland, we include it in the price. So you usually don't see it. So I'm going to talk about two cases, before and after. So first, let's just do the before because that's a bit easier. So let's say I have an item. Let's say it's a, well, let's take, let's say VAT at the moment is 21%. And that number can change, the government can change it, but let's just take it to be 21% for this question or for these following questions. So in the first one, I'm gonna buy a cup of coffee and the cup of coffee should be uh, three euro. Let's say I'm buying an expensive cup of coffee, but we're gonna add on VAT at 21%. So this is without VAT, right? Now, so what I want to do in this method is I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use percentages to help me figure out. So I'm going to say that three percent is what the like the full amount, right? That's that's what it should be before, and we're going to add on twenty one percent. So we need to get to one hundred and twenty one percent. So three euro is the hundred. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one percent. You'll see why in a minute, and then I'm going to make the 1% 121%. And if we follow this method every time, the reason why I'm doing it this way is that when we go to do the one after, it'll actually make it easier. So let's just take a look. To get from 1%, uh, sorry, 100% to 1%, I would need to divide by 100. Okay, so if I do that on the right hand side of the equals, I also need to do it on the left hand side. So I'm going to here divide three by a hundred. And that will give me, you can put it in your calculator if you want, but I'm just gonna say three over a hundred. Okay, I'm not even gonna put it in my calculator yet. Next, how do I get from 1% to 121%? Now we're just multiplying dividing each time, so I'm going to multiply by 121. If I do it on this side, I have to do it over on this side. So. 3 over 100 by 121. And at that point, you whip out the calculator. You say 3 over 100 multiplied by 121. And I get, and I want to change it to uh, decimals because I'm working with money. I get 3.63. So 3.63, and we're talking about money, so I'll put a euro symbol in front. So just to check again, what do we do? Well, we, we worked out that we started out saying that the three euro was 100% and we're going to get that 100 to be 121 because that's including the VAT. So the number including the VAT is 121. The number without the VAT is 100. And then we did something on the right. And if we did it on the right, we did it on the left. Now, um, at our, very, our answer was nice. 3.63 is exact. Sometimes you might have to round. We'll worry about that in a while. So let's just try one more of them and then I'm gonna do the reverse, uh, kind of a different what, a different scenario. So let's change our number for VAT as well, just so we get a different number and let's pick a different item. So say we're gonna do, uh, let's say fat is 23%, okay? And the item is you're hiring a band to play your wedding, okay? So the band cost 1,500 euro, okay, before VAT. So we're gonna say that 1,500 euro is the 100%. And we want to get up, we wanna add 23%, so we're gonna to get to 123%. But always we're gonna find 1%, and then we're gonna find 123. So you can see the steps the same, it doesn't matter what the number is. So on the right, to get from 100 to one, I divide by 100. If I do it on the right, I have to do it on the left. You can do this in your calculator straight away. It actually is a nice number, it just ends up being 15. Okay, or you can put, like I did before, 1,500 over 100. Either is fine. I think this method's better for when you get decimals and ugly numbers. Over here, how do I get the 1% to be 123? I times it by 123. If I do it on the right, I have to do it on the left to keep things balanced. So now I grab my calculator. I say 1,500 divided by 100, multiplied by 123, and I get 1,845. So in this case, the band are getting 1,500. And the idea is, is that the government are getting 
300 like the difference 345 euro that's the tax that the band would pay for their services uh to the government so this 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 taxes helps run the country and do things like that okay cool right let's go for now a reverse scenario so this is where we were given the number before vat and we were told to find the, the price after now we're going to work the other way so let us take uh, a new scenario and I'll go, I'll say now that VAT is 20% just for this one. So VAT is 20%, okay? So I'm going to say that I sold uh, a TV with VAT. So TV sold with VAT, V-A-T, um, and I sold it for 30 euro. So now the important part of this question is to establish what does the 30 euro refer to as a percent? So this is including the VAT. So the 30 euro is going to be not 100%, but 120%, okay? Because that's including the VAT. It's TV with the VAT, okay? Including VAT. So if that's 120%, I'm trying to find what it was before. So what was the TV worth before VAT? So I'm going to try to find this time what 100% is. So last time I had 100 and I tried to find 120 or whatever number it was, now I'm doing the reverse. As always, we'll find the 1% in between. Okay, so to get from 120 to one, I would divide by 120. So not divide by 100, this time divide by 120. If I do it on the right, I have to do it on the left. So again, I'm not even gonna do this in my calculator yet, I'm just gonna put it as 30 over 120. Next, I have 1% and I want to make it 100. So I'm going to times by 100. If I do it on the right, I have to do it on the left. So I do 30 over 120 times by 100. So again, you can put this in your calculator now. 30 over 120 multiplied by 100 and a presto, I end up getting it that it's 25 euro. So what this meant was, it was 25 euro for the TV in the beginning. Then when I added VAT, it became 30 euro. So what we're doing here is we're trying to work backwards the other way, okay? I'll pick one with slightly uglier numbers now and bigger numbers and we'll just see it. And that's pretty much all you can be asked on VAT. So we'll just do one more example. Right, uh, this time you've, uh, let's go back to your wedding. You've hired the catering and the catering cost you uh, big wedding. So catering cost you, 8,400 euro, including VAT at 21%. So that's your total, what you're paying, right? But that includes VAT at 21%. So someone wants to work out, okay, how much was the VAT? So we're gonna start with 8,400, and we're gonna say what percentage does that equal to? And hopefully you can see it equals to 121%. Now, Again, we're trying to find what percentage. So work out your percentages first. We're trying to get to 1% always. And then we're trying to find the original amount, so the 100%. So 121 to 1 is going to be divided by 121. If I divide the right, I have to do the same on the left. So this becomes 8400 0, 0 over 121. And again, I wouldn't bother solving that. I would just leave it there until the next step. Here, to get from 1% to 100, I times by 100. If I do that on the right, I have to repeat it on the left. So now I put it in the calculator. So 8,400, oops, that's 5,000, 8,400 divided by 121, multiplied by 100. And I end up getting, ooh, it's an ugly looking number, so let's put it in. I get 6942.14876. Ugh, now nah, that's not lovely, but let's just have a look. So I'm going to, because it's money, I'm going to round to two decimal places. So does the eight round up the four? It certainly does. So I get 6942.15. And that will equal 100%. Now, that means that the band are taking home that much and that the, the government would take home 84, 8,400 take away that number.
whatever that is, we don't really care. We're not asking. So there are the two ways that VAT can be asked, either the VAT before or the VAT after. You have to read the question carefully and then you'll be able to figure out which way to do it. But if you go with the percentages method, it means it'll also help with all your financial maths because you can kind of do every single question in the same manner. And it'll help you out. That's it.